Yo, Lori, what's up? Hi, Megan Trainer. Hi. All right, so we got to talk about the new album called Thank You. It's coming out in May. Yeah. Um, I am loving the new song, No. I love that it's super sassy. So we're here in Jersey. It seems like you are less a Nantucket girl and more of a Jersey girl because we're super sassy here. Yeah, that Jersey. <laughs> That's nice. So where did the sassy come from? Because Nantucket, you usually think like Vineyard Vines and not like Sassy Soul. Well, I wrote, I wrote such a positive, major key, happy pop album. And then my label, L.A. Reid, that was one of the things he wanted. He's like, this is a very nice album. But you're sassy. Like, all your hits were, I'm all about the bass, and your lips are moving. And I was like, but I'm, I'm nice. And he was like, nah, you're a sassy girl. Show us that. And I was like, okay. So is that how you really are? Are you, are you normally just like a, a sassy, like, no. what's your real personality like? Uh, friends, tell me what it's like, guys. <laughs> no, I'm a sweet ass. I'm an angel. I'm cool, I'm chill, I guess they say. I'm not a monster. The first few songs, you, I mean, even even with this song, no, you seem like the girl that everyone would be hanging out with, like the girl that you would go to the club with or just go hang out with at the house. No, I'm a hustler. I'm a hardworking girl. I work all day long, and then when I have a day off, I stay home and I lay on my couch and chill with my bros. So you really are just like the regular girl. Yeah. Very cool. All right, so I heard that song, no, and I was like, oh, my God, this is every thought that I've had when I've been out of the club and someone is annoying me. <laughs> Is that how you came up with the song? No, I. Um, it's not like I get hit on all the time at clubs, no. But, I mean, there has been a moment where a dude just took a picture of me and then came up to me and tried to hit on me, and I was like, are you kidding me? No. Um, <laughs> but um, I wrote the song because L.A. Reid said I didn't have a single, and I left, and I was frustrated, and I was like, he's wrong, and so I said, do something with a completely different beat, and I'll write something really sassy over it, and it turned into this woman anthem that I love. Awesome. And I know that your last tour had to get canceled. You had a vocal cord hemorrhage. How are you feeling, and, and do you have any plans for a new tour? I'm feeling all right. It's been a little rough uh, just getting back into work from going from no talking to talking all day long and singing, you know. So it's something you got to um, adjust with. you got to um, learn how to do it. I don't know if I've learned it yet, but we're excited for tour. Tour is probably the summer. Do you know when you're announcing dates? No, I don't. I wish I did. Soon. Soon. And you got to come to Jersey. Yes, I do. Rest your voice. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Anything that you want to tell the fans that you haven't said already? I love you so much, fans. Thank you for getting this song number one on iTunes yesterday. That was huge for me. I love you all for the support. Thank you. Awesome. Megan, thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, too.